And we on. That's right. What's up, you foolies? Good morning. Damn. Good, good afternoon. Morning. You like that? <laughs> I like that. It made me feel good inside. That's right. Pause. That's right. What's up with all you sick fools in the chat? What's up with, the, what's up with you chat foolies? So we got the news today. We're going to do a little something different, man. You know what I mean? Icon is on the uh, injured list right now. So it's just us, G. I told him don't get in that UFC ring when we went to the show the other day <laughs> with fool, me. That fool took a knee for life. <laughs> he did. <laughs> that he fool said I tap for, out. He I'm out of here. He took a knee forever, dog. So before we get started, man, what's up with the chat, man? Shout out Fred. Shout out Andy, man. Shout out One Sick, man. What up, man? The Buds. Overlooked. That's you, man. What's good, fool? Overlooked is cold. I was really going through his work the other day. That fool's the one. That fool's cold. That fool's a I cold man. Him. I don't be doing that. He's a... <laughs> you slid in his DM? slid in his DM. I said, you're cold, bro. That's doing? right. Hey, he's a cold man. No and cap. I got some... Uh, let me... I got some... Uh, I got the fresh teas being delivered now. So whoever I, right. I've been lagging it on... I'm sorry, we had a little issue, but it's it was it's done been fixed. I got the t-shirts on the way, so they will be mailed out this week. I appreciate y'all for the wait and shit. For sure, for sure. What's good with you though, man? Chilling, man. How's your week know? been? It's been pretty good, fool. Just been working. My video's been going up like crazy. Um that's right. You had like three million. You hit like three million views on that one video, right? In the last week, I'm at like almost ten mil. Damn. That's about it. Today, I'm gonna go meet with my realtor. I'm gonna look at a house. Sweet. All Just right. Trying to make it. All right. You know what plant it is. Some, plant some generational seeds, man. Got to. Feel that. Feel that. All right. So, without further ado, let's get it. Why I cannot hear, man. He, you know, he uh, that punch from Arnold. That's it. It did him. He's done. No okay. cap. He's done. It left. I, LA Icon left because SPM Tank. <laughs> oh, hell no. Hell no. Never that, my friend. Never that. So let's get into the news. Crazy. All right. What are we going to start with? Whatever you want, big dog. Want to start a lefty? If you want to. Did we cover this already? I don't remember. I hear it. It's crazy, boy. Like, you have a long lost love or some shit? shit? Yeah, huh? man. I yeah. do, man. I really do. Man. Uh, hey, I really do. No, no, no. There you go. Oh, oh, shit. No. Go to news with article showing. There you go, big dog. Oh. Now click on the... Can we hear it still? There you go, Ooh, big man. dog. It's just like she's in a situation I can't be worried. She's in, in it. It is what it is. I accepted the fact of, of what she's doing and shit. Like... She got a little family. I, I hope it works out, man. But yeah, I do got a long lost love, man. Like, I, I just want to be happy. If she's happy. That's all that matters to me, man. She blocks you dumb where you can't find her. She dog. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's crazy, fool. Like, you have a long lost love or some shit? Yeah, man. I do, man. I really do. Man. Yeah, I really do, man. It's just like she's in a situation I can't be worried. She's in, in it. It is what it is. I accepted the fact of, of what she's doing and shit. Like, she got a little family. I, I hope it works out, man. But yeah, I do got a long last love, man. Like, I, I just want to be happy. If she's happy. That's all that matters to me, man. She blocked. How do you feel about that, dog? I respect it, fool. It be like that. Yeah. You got a long lost love? I bet you do. You seem like the type. You know what, bro? I don't. Cap. I don't, G. You know what I'm saying? Hey, any 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 woman and in my life that's not in there, no, they don't. Everybody done played their part and played their role, man. Are they gone? If she's not in my life now, I don't miss her, man. So you don't have a long lost love at all. Nah. Like if you think of like one girl that got away, you don't have that one girl that got away. Um, you know what? I did. I did one time. I did. And then I found out that she was just a hoe. <laughs> okay. 
So she stopped being that long lost love, G. What do you want? What do you want from me? I found out she was just a fucking hoe. Like at the time, I was like maybe a couple years ago, like now nah, a long lot longer than a couple years ago. But I, I, you know, I used to be like, you know what, man, you know, I, I messed that one up, man. She got away. And then like I heard some shit, you know. This chick was a hoe the whole time, dude. So nah, she stopped being the long lost love, bro. I respect it. You know, I know you've been with your chick for like ever, right? Nah, huh? I've been mean, years, but years, like right? the she was the one that got away because I knew her when I was like fourteen, fifteen. Ooh. So and then we reconnected. So I bagged it. Bagged it. Now we here. Started from the bottom. Now we here. No cap. <laughs> one sick man is tripping. Loppy toppy. Hey, bro. Listen, man. She was a wild one, G. She was a wild one. But hey, it's, you know, Bangkok has her. Look at Icon. Bangkok has her. <laughs> Bangkok has her now. Let's go somewhere. That video was on last week's news. Oh, my bad. Oh, my bad. All right. Well, then, shit. Hey, man, we just been humans trying to hey, make bro, it, bro. Hey, yeah, we're freestyling this right now, G. No cap. You know what I mean? <laughs> Free SPL. Oh, okay. All right. So jump forward. Somebody said, was that Frost saying free SPL? All right. We covered that. We covered that, G. We Did covered we? Where that. Where was I? I don't know. Was I here for last week's news? I don't know. I was. Anyways. All right. Let's go to this right now. Okay. Arizona lawmakers advance bill allowing property owners to kill migrants. That's crazy. Arizona lawmakers have advanced a bill that would grant property owners the right to shoot and kill anyone who trespasses their property so long as they claim they were doing so in self-defense. House Bill 2843 expands the state's current Castle Doctrine law that the statute allows individuals to unalive any person who breaks into their home under the new proposal. However, anyone who walks onto the land of an Arizona property owner could similarly be unalived. The bill is largely seen as as means to allow ranchers and farmers whose property lines up to the U.S.-Mexico border to unalive and unalive migrants who may be crossing over to seek asylum, unaware that they're entering private property, though. Indeed, the bill sponsors state Indeed, the bill sponsor state rep, Justin Heap, specifically said that the bill was meant to address migrants on people's properties. That's crazy, fool. So it don't matter. So not only are they giving you the right to profile somebody, they're giving they're giving them the right to unalive them, dog, just for step. And and all you got to do. Well, from what we're reading right now, all you got to do is just say it was in self-defense. My boy attacked me. Damn. I lost for look words. For now, that looked foul. like you liked that, bro. That's foul. What? You were smiling and just looking at me like you're waiting for me to break into your yard. No, nah, that's just crazy. What? I don't know, bro. You got the that's the colonizer in you. Go ahead and try it, big dog. Damn, I don't want to, bro. All but right. if we were in Arizona and I stepped onto your land, you could just unalive me. Okay, now look at fool. Respectfully, respectfully. All right. I don't want no strangers on my yard. But I feel that. But I feel that. Like you know what it is if they're back there. If you're on the borderline and that's your backyard and it's been a normal thing, you know what they're doing. Right, right. So now you just got free range to go out there and wow, that's fucking crazy. Wow. That's horrible, bro. I, I I mean, listen, I understand and I feel that, you know? But they won't even dog. They don't even give residents like like us right say for example us in california right this is not a stand your ground state no where you know you could just blast somebody if they you know if there's so many rules to it, you know what i'm saying like you could get you could go to jail forever bro in so many ways if you shoot somebody on your property right um but bring it to arizona and the border and they're giving you the right to just blast anybody walking on your property mm-hmm that's knowing, different though too. Like, well. like out here, you could literally have somebody armed in your house, and you could pop them, and you're in trouble out there, fool. They're just in your backyard trying to make a way. <laughs> they just free range is crazy. <laughs> Damn, that's, that's free crazy. Range? Did you say free range? Free range migrants. This is, they're what? not just no. meat. All right, they have free range to smoke. Damn, bro. <laughs> 
Yeah, I don't know. It's crazy. Jay was happy and supporting the colonizer. Nah, man. He's just colonizing Riverside. Shut up. <laughs> Arizona's. Whittier's next, there. big dog. Fuck. Turn your hat around. I'll turn you Tell around. The people how... <laughs> Tell the people how you want to be like me. Turn your hat around. You know what, bro? Listen, man. There's there's far worse people to be like in this world than you, Jay. I respect that. You know what I'm saying? Thank so, you. So, you know. That made me feel good. The chow would probably disagree, but it's fine. They're like, Doug. <laughs> Doug, Doug. Nobody wants to be Doug. Get off our property. Damn, G. That's wild, bro. Damn, Victor. I don't know. It's Victor. just I don't know. It's just crazy, bro. They want they they want people to shoot the migrants. And that's wild. I think that's wild. That's really what you know? it is. Well, exactly. They want to scare them. They want, you know what They're I mean? Like breaking them off. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna get smoked if you if you cross that wall and step onto somebody's land. You know what I mean? And you know the the land. Some of the landowners, psh, they gotta be waiting for that shit. Like, They're probably breaking them you know off. Government's saying? probably break, breaking them Barbara, off. Police department. Barbara, Tom you, is here. I'll give get you, my rifle. I'll give you five hundred dollars for every body that you drop in your backyard. Oh, They're probably breaking them off, dog. That is wild. Think about it. That's a wild narrative. I don't dig it. I don't dig it. You don't gotta dig it. Right? They gonna dig them. Mm hmm. Them holes. Exactly. Six feet. <laughs> you need to relax. You need to relax, Doug. My bad. All right. Damn, bro. I I see it coming out. I see the colonizer <laughs> coming out. G. All right. Where are we at? Where are we at? News. U.S. issues warning to those who are going to Rosarito for spring break. Look at how happy they look. They ain't worried about no warning. None of them even. You see their little commercial that they put out? No. Nah. Oh, no, not Rosarito. Never mind. Americans gained. Americans are again strongly advised to reconsider travel to Rosarito for spring break amid ongoing violence in Baja, California. The U.S. Embassy cites drugs, unrelated alcohol, sexual assault, and even drowning. <laughs> And even drowning as just some of the reasons to travel elsewhere this spring. Last year, 33-year-old Orange County public defender Elliot Blair was found unalived in Rosarito during a one-year wedding celebration with his wife. A Mexican prosecutor described Blair's unaliveness as unfortunate as an unfortunate accident, saying he fell off the hotel's balcony after ingesting a significant amount of alcohol. Blair's family, however, does not believe he was intoxicated and fell. I'm so sure. I mean, we don't know. <laughs> we don't know homeboy's lifestyle, right? I mean, how do you feel about not going to Rosarito? I wasn't planning on going anyway, big dog. Don't hey, trip. You know what? I think what is crazy is that they add drowning into the mix of like... You know, murder, sexual assault, drug sales. Drowning, I think it's a stretch. Drowning. Like, damn, hey, bro, you better chill, bro. They got gangsters full robbing and killing people full. And that ocean, they'll take you out. Jesus. If you're going out there and you drown full, like I could go, somebody could get drunk in their backyard and drown. That's what I'm saying. It don't make no That's sense. What I'm like, saying. it's a stretch. Drowning shit out of there. It's the ocean's fault, homie. Chill. And if and and half the time, hey, but you know what? I've been to Rosarito plenty times, plenty times, and it's safe to say, bro, if you just mind your business and don't do anything extra, you'll be all right. Yeah, facts. You'll be all right, bro. Me personally, I don't like to leave the fucking resort. I like to stay there, dog. I'm not, you know, you what I'm paid saying? for it. That's what I went for. Yeah, I went for the all exclusive, bro. Where we. Oh man, where I don't think it is even. I think it was Cabo, something like that. You go to an all-inclusive resort. They got they got beer. Like your fridge is full of beer. There's this guy that comes like every few hours just to check. Just that lays your it down on you. Yeah, just that your bottles are full. Your fridge is full of. Make sure that you're full. Oh, oh, pause. But yeah. <laughs> Yeah, bro. It's, and it's crazy, bro. You don't need to go anywhere, you know, but it's fools that want to do the extra shit. Let's go get some drugs, dude. I'm just saying, you know, I'm not, you know. No, that, no that was aimed at me. <laughs> <laughs> that was aimed no, at me. No, no, no bro, you're sober. Exactly. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> you 
So, I, I mean, I don't, you know, just mind your business when you're over there. What if I don't want to, big dog? Then you're going to end up I'm gonna get pushed drowned or sexually assaulted. That's, uh, one of the, that's one of the big five. I'm not mad at it. I'm definitely mad at it. I'm not getting sexual assaulted in Mexico. I'm chilling. Don't be scared. But I'm just saying. I'm just saying. It can happen I'm just anywhere. Saying it's like the family or the family. Some reason chat. The powers that be over there. I feel you don't have a hand in tourism. You know what I'm saying? They don't want you to get kidnapped. They don't want you to not go to Mexico. You know what I'm saying? They want you to come. They want you to get your BBLs and and your new veneers and they want you to get your party on and you know maybe consume some some what you know. Some something, you know what I mean? That you know, so I don't, I don't know. You just don't hear, you don't hear about that shit. Smoke dog tap, smoke dog tapping in from the Chevron bathroom. Here's a weather report update. The Pookie is currently in F Y F five status. That's right. That means it's spinning, dog. It's spinning, spinning like your mama's favorite CD. That's right. What would be your mom's favorite CD? My mom's favorite CD. Yeah. What would she be bumping right now? Probably some like some like old Usher or something like that. I feel that. That's what my mom be on. I feel that. She'll be on like that, you know, early two thousands R and B. Okay. I dig it. That's her get down. What's your get down? My get down or my mom's? Yours. My get down? What was what was what was I playing on the way over here? Me on I the think, phone. I think I think I was yeah I was playing Jay's new skit. I'm the one. That, I'm the reason why it's at 10 million right now. Half of that's me. <laughs> 10 million is crazy. Half of that's me. I'm the psycho ex. I'm the love that he lost. Jay, did you smash Lena at No Jumper? That's crazy. Why would that even be a thing, right? Unless somebody thought it. Did you smash Lena? How come you're all fucking quiet like that, G? Because I didn't. Damn. I'm not even going to entertain Gentlemen you right now. kiss and tell. I'm not going to entertain you right now. Oh, yes, you fucking are, Jay. Oh, no, the fuck I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, you fucking are, dog. So no res- no Rosarito for you. Me? Yeah. I don't want to have no problem going to Rosarito. I'm down to go to Rosarito. Yeah, I don't have no problem with it. Bringing your kids to Rosarito. How do you feel about no. that one? No? Why not? They're too young. If my <clears throat> kids aren't, like, can't tell me. My son can't really talk. I mean, he's one and a half. He says a lot of words, but he says words. He's not able to tell me what he saw or what's going on. And I have to look over them too much, you know? Yeah. It becomes a, you know, you know, you got kids. Yep. They're not capable of living life yet. You know, I have to. And if they can't really readily converse with you and tell you what the hell somebody did or what happened, Kind of gotta exactly. Gotta it's be like, more careful. Yeah, me and my girl, sure, we can go. I feel it. Grandma, take the kids. I feel it. I feel it. I fuck with it. Let's get out of here, man. No Rosarito, Cabo, anyways. Wait, what is this? I don't even know what's going on. We're just gonna click that. Because we're going to like, uh, we're South going to Texas, Southwest in Austin, Texas. We're going to Texas. Oh yeah, I, yeah. Icon was telling me something, so that's what's cracking. We're going to Texas. Shout out to Lil Mexico, bro. He's hard, bro. I don't know if you're familiar with his music at all. No, nope. but he's hard. Bro. He's from Texas. Yeah, he's from Texas. He's part of the Wolf Pack. I don't really listen to Texas music, but shout out to him. I'm, I'm, you know what? I'm really, I'm a Southern rap connoisseur. Yeah, I, yeah, I love Southern rap, bro. That's so, right. I love a lot of Southern music. You know what I mean? So you know, like blues and jazz. Uh, I took jazz appreciation, in uh, in college for real, because that was a prerequisite for commercial music, for a commercial music major. You know what I'm saying? So I tried my hand at college a little bit. I didn't make it. You know what I'm saying? I didn't make it. I didn't do it. I didn't get it, guys. College dropout. You know what I'm saying? It's all but good. I tried. But so, yeah, bro, because um, I grew up a lot. Listen, my, you know, my pops listened to uh, a lot of classic rock, country, jazz, blues, a lot of that shit. You know what I mean? A lot of different so, stuff. I respect it. Wide you know variety. Mean? Yeah, 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 for sure. But a lot of uh, southern bass. But uh, shout, out, shout out to Lil Mexico, man, and the, and, the, and the Wolf Pack, man. Shout out to Brick. 
You know what I mean? He the homie for show. But Lil Mexico, I've been seeing kind of Spanish. He raps in Spanish. You know what I mean? But he's just as hard in English. Kind of got to fuck with him. Fire. You know what I mean? So Lil, Lil, Lil May go hard. Full communities south by southwest. Damn. Catch us in Texas. <laughs> what up? See you there. That's one can of Man, come on. We here together. It's me and Jay up in this piece, bro. Hey, well, Cookies is not invited because Cookies loves PC. We're not even going to get into that shit right now. Nope. So we're in South by Southwest. Austin, show us some, show us some full love. Jake Paul is going to be boxing 57-year-old Mike Tyson on July 20th. Time to put Iron Mike to sleep, he says. Fool, this is bunk. No cap. This is a stupid ass fight. You know what? I've been seeing him. I've been seeing him fight these cats. I've been seeing him fight these cats. And it's like, you know, right when I'm starting to like. Like. Be like, all right, maybe he could kind of kind of fight and shit. You know what I'm saying? Jake He's Paul, got it in him. You know Jake what I mean? Paul can fight. That's the thing. He can fight. He trains. He can fight. But here's no. the thing. The rules to this fight in particular, this fool can tag his brother in. Apparently, that's what I'm hearing. And they can go two on one against Mike Tyson. Right. Right. And there's still probably contingencies and stipulations within that because let's just keep it real. Fucking Iron Mike will demolish both those fools at the same goddamn time. You think so? What? Even at 57, that fool would eat them both alive. And the way you looked at me right now when I said that shit, dog, seems like that's up for debate right now, G. The only reason it's up for debate is because of how scripted this shit is, respectfully. Right. Okay. So say, say it's unscripted and Mike is fucking boxing both these fools in the ring right now. I think Mike got it. Woo! Heck yeah. Last fight looks scripted. Everything that this fool does is scripted. Everything he does is scripted. It's just, it's just crazy, you know? But, I mean, <sighs> dog, look how weak he was fighting uh, the Stockton slapper. Mm-hmm. Right? Own boy from Stockton. What's his name, man? Fucking, what's his name, man? That white boy. Comment line. Come through. Damn, my mind went blank. Anyways, they know what I'm talking about. When Jake Paul fought homeboy from fucking Stockton, and then uh, it was just like a joke, dog. It's all a joke. Fool. It was a joke, G. I watched that shit, fool, and I was just like, damn. You got to respect the pay-per-view sales, though. Nate Diaz. Aurora. There you go. Dog, yeah. Nate Diaz, yeah. You know, so it's like, damn, yeah, He's not G. white, though, fool. He's Mexican. All right, whatever. What, I said white boy. I said, I said, you boy. said that white boy. I said that boy from Stockton. You said that white boy. Well, we're going to have to run this back when this is all done, G. You know They're even saying he's not white because you said he's white. I said white boy? Yes. Well, then I stand corrected. Put some respect on Nate Diaz's name. You put some fucking respect on my name, homie. I don't even know who you are. I'll bet you do. You're fucking talking to me, stupid. <laughs> I wish I wasn't. Compton Chapo in the fucking fuck you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All late. Compton Chapo in the chat, bro. Bro, when Tyson and Jones, no, Roy Jones Jr. got in the ring, Tyson was not all that. No, I feel you. All right, listen. Tyson wasn't all that after he started taking his medicine, his antidepressants. Once, Ty, once they put Tyson on medication, his whole shit changed. He lost the fight, bro. You know, he lost it. He lost it. Lil Grifo Juan. The owner of the full community is not in the building, Grifo. What's up, though, fool? Hey, prayers to Grifo. You saw that stuff that hey, was yeah, happening? Yeah, bro. Hey, stay on point, G. I'm glad you're okay, homie. Facts. You know what I mean? Prayers to you, my boy. You know? Yeah, bro. Prayers up, up to you, G. You know? Just move accordingly. You already know what it is, G. Shout out to Grifo. Dago legend. Compton Chapo. Compton legend in the house. Anyways, I think Jake Paul, I don't know, man. That's that's the crazy thing about it is, you know what? Icon always tells me, bet on the star. Will Icon get a body shot from Mike Tyson? That, that would be away? crazy. Oh, dog, he would. You, you think it's a big deal that he's gone today because of a body shot? That fool will die. Let me get you with a body shot. She get me with a tequila shot. So... <laughs> All right.
Well, all right. So who wins? Respectfully for this fight, normally, <laughs> without right. any rules. We, know who we would go for Tyson. Right? But with this coming out, with all the little weird rules and the large promotional advertisement behind it, uh, the Paul brothers are going to have to take this one, shoot unfortunately. For the, shoot for the stars. It's unfortunate. Right. I respect it. You better. I fucking do, G. And not because I better, homies, because I want to. All right, Petito. Alex Enamorado is calling on the public to reach out to Kim Kardashian to help him and the Justice 8 get released. Street vendor and activist Eden Alex Enamorado is calling on Rasa to reach out to Kim K so she can look into this case and get him and the Justice 8 released. How do you feel about that, G? You feel Kim K is going to fucking see the bat signal and... What happened to Rosenberg? Help the people of Gotham. What happened to Rosenberg? He's there fighting, G, but sometimes, you know, you've seen the movies. Sometimes, you know, Captain America needs to fucking come help Superman. Kim K's got it. Kim K's got it. Kim K, hey, I'll tell you what, G. I don't see Kim K coming down from Mount Olympus and <laughs> and you know, as as fucked up as it may sound, I don't see her. I don't see her doing it. Respectfully, I I, I would hope so because if Kim moves, you know, people she's miss a it. good lawyer. You know what I'm saying? She's a good lawyer. What? It's a fact. I would I would love for you to back that up with facts. From what I've seen, from what I've seen, she's done uh like multiple cases, I believe, and one. Right. I'm almost positive. She did pass the bar. She's a lawyer. But she has the pull as it is. The pull. She has pull as it is. Right. She She break the courthouse off. She can make shit happen. Yeah. You know what I mean? She can make shit happen. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. She can make shit happen. Uh, (laughs) So let me call her right now. (laughs) (laughs) Was like, hey, hold my Rolls Royce. Hold my Rolls Royce keys. Let me call her right now. Right. I, I think Compton, Compton Chavo really does have a Rolls Royce, so that's, that's Fire. amazing. I don't. Me neither, G. <laughs> but you know that it's definitely one of the goals, right? Or a uh, plan. I definitely think Kim's influence would play a big part uh-huh. in um this whole entire case right here. Um. Do you think, okay, so Aurora says it'll be a big move for Kim and the Hispanic community support. Support is the strongest her brands would take off. Uh, Respectfully, G, her brands are taking off anyways. You know what I'm saying? Regardless, you know, I don't think that her interest is in the Hispanic community. I think it would be great for her, you know, and her and her business to support. But I mean, I don't. I just think it would give her an extra backing regardless, like taking away the business part. It would also, it would give her some support, but business wise, man, she's making billions. You could take every person out of Southern California that's ever bought a product from her and she's still worldwide. Right. Right. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) You don't give a damn. (laughs) You know what? And that's the cool part about it. And that's the cool part about it is that I don't think she does. You know what I mean? Um, I think what I'm seeing is, and the scandalous thing that I'm seeing is that support, support for the Justice Eight, is almost is I see it dwindling down, and that's the fucked up part. You know what I mean? Is that people kind of are not screaming free the Justice Eight like they were, you know, forgetting forgetting how much these people were fighting for the rights of the street vendors, et cetera. You know what I'm saying? So free the Justice Eight, man. I hope I hope Kim Kardashian hears your calls. Cause she don't even help her own. You gotta remember, fool. Listen, she's bro. She's probably busy as hell. Look, G, she's helping somebody, G. You know what I'm saying? As if a, a, as long as she's helping somebody, homie, you can't throw stones at who the you know what I'm saying? Like 
because she's not helping one person and she's helping the other. G, we're all people and she's helping somebody, G. You Just know like I mean? she helped Ray J. I think Ray J helped her. You think so? I don't know. Hell yeah, bro. G. G. Who if brings she, up Ray J unless they're talking about the Kim K tape nowadays? Kicked it off. That's what kicked it off, though. You know what I'm saying? That's what kicked it off, G. I mean, the old boy can't just, he can't sit there and be Al Bundy and just be like, oh, yeah, all this was mine back. In, you know, at some point, you got to stop that shit. You know what I mean? But hey, that sex tape kicked it off for her. It did. It did, bro. And had she had had she had given the Gok Gok five thousand to somebody else, I don't think it would have took off like that. So shout out my it. man's Ray no, J and free the eight. <laughs> that was some crazy shit to get into. Um, and shout out to our sponsor, Attorney Rosenberg. You know because I do watch his kind of like his uh, what would you call it? His little sum ups after he comes yeah, out and talks yeah, to yeah, everybody. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So he's still in there for the fight and he's still doing his damn thing. So just because they calling on Kim Kardashian doesn't mean Ros- Rosenberg ain't doing his damn thing. He's doing the damn thing, bro. You can't can't argue with that. So you know what I mean. Waste of a sex tape. I, it, I don't think it was, G. No. Nah. Look at what happened. Look what happened. She blew up. G. I think they're talking in terms of sex tapes. Not the effect from it. What was a better sex tape? Don't ask me. I don't know. You do know, bro. I see it. I see it in those eyes, G. Yours? See my eyes and yours? Nah, your that sex was tape, deep, G. Your that sex was deep. tape. My sex tape? I'm too young for that. <laughs> what? I don't even know what a tape That's is. That's my uncle right there. This guy right here? Mm-hmm. Woody. Imagine. Today marks 17 years since the passing of Woody. On this day, 17 years ago, we lost a NorCal legend. Who, Woody. Who's Woody? He's a rapper from out there. He's a rapper from out there? Yeah. Rest in peace, Woody. Oh, there I am. Where? Right there, fool. Is that your foot? Nah, down there, fool. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. Nah, I'm just playing. Oh, shit. Hey, we can arrange that. <laughs> That, go to that, that fool. Go to that. Go to that. Go down. Nah, don't go to that. Well, we'll get yet. to that. We'll get not to yet. that. We'll get. We'll get to that. Oh, oh. Okay. So our very own, our very own, Jay from Riv, was on a, was on a, I don't know what you call conference Instagram live, Instagram live or yeah. whatever. Now nah, well together, you guys. All right, a little a live with. Uh, okay. So what are you saying right here? I wasn't saying anything. You could play it. There's no music. Oh, you got it. You got it. Uh, we can't get into this one. No. Don't be scared, fool. No, we can't. So what were you saying? Just tell me what you were saying on it. So basically, uh, I hopped on a live with Frosty. And uh, I was just chopping it up with him. We were just chilling. And uh, he was telling me about his new tape. That he's about to drop. Okay. Yada yada yada. Cause he got posted with um Lush. What was that for? I dropped some honey on my lap. Want me to come get it? Anyways, yeah. So Lush Lush. <laughs> that's wild, huh? So he was on an interview with Lush and he got asked about Genesis and Maru. Okay. And he, was, he was like, Who? He was like, nah, respectfully, like Maru's cool, but Genesis, yada yada yada. He was just popping it. And then Genesis hopped on the live with him after that interview dropped because it was going viral. And uh, so I hopped in there and they were kind of getting compared when I was like, you fools can't be compared. Frosty is a melodic rapper. Genesis is a singer. Okay. Correct me if I'm wrong. That's true. Right. So why are they in the same category? It doesn't make sense. You can't compare them. Because they got because this is all a competition that's why and these fools got the rapper mentality but they're singing i respect that but you, know I mean? you can't put you know jason aldean up against lil wayne like they're in two completely different ballparks and that's a fact one is a legit singer one is a rapper it don't make sense it's like putting Givion on up against lil baby make it make sense it don't make sense so that was my point. And then it went on 
and we kind of settled that and he was like nah you know what um i agree like they both agreed with me um and then buddy hopped on the live and then just was like well you're better than so and so i heard frosty like frosty saying you know kind of a little maru fell off or something right. right do you believe that no respectfully no i mean he dropped the tape at the end of 2023 and it's still it has over five million plays that's not falling off falling off is is what well what do you consider falling off especially when it comes to the music falling off musically um you see it time and time again you see so many artists get their deal they have one song okay they have one song go up they get a deal they get comfortable, they stop posting, they stop doing music, they start living this fast life that they weren't even ready for, that have, they don't even have the funds to back up, because they still have to make music to get their deal going or whatever, and then they go to post, and they're getting like 9k views, their monthly listeners are dropping by 500k. I think, I think falling off is, is when you're up here, right, you've gone, you've gone up, you, you've been at the top, right? And you stop, right? You stop making music. You stop, you stop. The consistency stops. And then when you try to come back again, you flop. Every, every, every comeback is a flop. That's when I believe that you've successfully fallen off. Right. Right. Is when you just can't, is when I've fallen and I can't get up type shit. You uh, know what I I'm agree. saying? Yep. Because I see cats take breaks and come back. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, okay, look at Memo, the mafioso, right? Some would, some said, would say that he fell off. But, but I don't think so because he could come back at any minute and make shit pop. He just did. He just came back. That's fine. But right? my biggest thing with falling off is the hype around a person. If the hype is gone, that's the fall off right there. It's not so much the numbers. I think if the hype is gone and you can't get it back, that's a fall off, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because if you, yeah. if you come back, then how how bad did you ever fall off? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're back on, you know what I'm saying? It's no, like, I agree. You know, you could leave shit on a high note. And and motherfuckers say what? If, well, you know, I had a hit. I made fucking ten million dollars, and I decided to go fucking to go fucking uh, travel the world. You say I fell off? No, I didn't fell off. I quit while I was ahead. But if I fucking stopped and then tried to come back and flopped, then you would say that motherfucker fell off. Well, there's a reason Drake is where he's at. You know, that he that fool never took a break. Um, you know what? Drake has a good team behind him and a team of he ghostwriters. That's crazy, you know. Oh, does he get ghostwritten? You think? Definitely. J Drake is a cash cow and he feeds a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? And he definitely, he definitely has ghostwriters, and that's facts. Man, I, I'm telling you, I think a long time ago, Concrete told me. Uh, Concrete was like, he was like, hey, Perro, no. He was like, hey, fool. I went to a songwriting, uh, songwriters awards ceremony for like BMI. You know, and he goes, the people that I saw getting the getting the awards for writing songs that I I just thought for rappers that I thought, you know, would never have somebody write for them. They got some, you know, some white dude. They wrote it. You know, that's crazy. Wild. I had no idea. Wild. Like, you know that I don't even know if I could. You don't have to air it out. We can talk about it later. But. You know what I'm saying? No, not a rapper. I'm talking about famous rappers. You know what I'm saying? You're talking about all the way up to fucking Kendrick. Dang. You know? Bring back high power Kendrick. K-Dot. Kendrick was cold back then. You know what I mean? Yeah. Section 80. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. K-Dot. K-Dot used to be uh, J-Rock's hype man. Mm. You know? Not a lot of people know that. But, well, shout out to Frosty, bro. Um... Shout out to Genesis. Genesis is one 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 hard motherfucker, dog. You That's know what, what I was saying. saying is that Genesis can sing, sing his ass off. And that fool Frosty can rap its ass off. Uh F Frosty's dope. And you know what the thing is, is that he can rap, but he's showing people the more melodic side of him. You know what I'm saying? Right. And that's I think that people tend to look at that because that's the side they like more. You know what I mean? Right. I definitely fuck with it. I definitely fuck with it. Donald Trump has taken the lead in all national polls to win 2024 election. How do you feel about that, dog? Your granddaddy Biden is 
Not gonna make it. I don't think so. Mm, fuck that fool. Fuck that fool. It's a fact. You waiting like, for Trump to come in? To wreck some shit or hopefully what? he's ready to come and change some shit up because whatever we got going on is not working. Right or wrong. You know what, G? Um in my lifestyle, I can't say who it who the president is really affects the way I live. You know? I mean, if it's, you know what I mean? If, if you think now, if you think Trump coming in is going to fucking lower the cost of living in California, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Maybe, you know, who knows? You know what I mean? But they, I don't they care really don't who the me. president is, fool. I just want some fucking. What do you want, dude? I just want a better economy. What do you want, I want a better economy. I want. Lower cost of living. Okay. I want my gas prices back. Okay. I want McDonald's to go back to regular prices. Okay. Fool, my that's, kids, my kids. That's be all hungry. lower cost of living. All okay. Right. Oh, okay. That's all. Well, there you there. go. All right. Lower cost of living. Be- better education. You don't even. Education's know. cool. You don't it even know what, what you want. Eh? Education's cool. But it's not like a uh, like. Schools are shit anyway. In reality, like my, my kids are getting homeschooled. Okay. That's a fact. My kids so are not going to no public. No, not me. Okay. My thank lady. God, thank God. Yeah, no, I, I wouldn't right. let them be taught by me. I'm a dumbass. But my lady's smart as shit. Yeah, with little IE tattoos <laughs> under their eye. But nah, fool. I mean, what do you think? It, I mean, okay. So what's so what's so wrong about the time that we're living in right now? The cost of living. Besides the cost of living, what else is wrong? See what I'm saying? You know, the shit just uh, like the president's, I mean, what do I want? It, it don't really, I don't really affect my lifestyle now. What do I want is I want, I want them to treat the migrants right. You know, I want better screening at the border, right? Lower cost of living, right? These things. If the president can help those things, you know, amazing, amazing. But how often do they? You know, that's true. And, and, no, you're and, right. And how often does our if the ele- and I got a question, if anybody in the chat knows, I got a question because, you know what, I'm not too politically savvy on these types of things. But tell me this, G, if the if 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 the Electoral College. Uh, determines who the president is, what good is our vote? Why are we voting? Because at, because at the end right. of the day, the electoral college is the are the people that determine who, uh, who's president. You know, straight up. And, and you know what? Overlook has a point. Money should never be the issue. Work harder, right? And and that reminds me of some shit that I said before. You know what I'm saying? Uh, when we were covering the uh, cost of living in California, it's just like, yo, we got to be some hustlers to live here. Right. You already know if we're living in California and we're surviving in California and we're doing it. All right. We're doing all right in California. We're already some hardworking motherfuckers. Got to be, you know, because you got to be to be able to even have a life and raise kids, especially if you're your own boss, have a family, especially if you're a sole proprietor of any in any shape, form or fashion, you know. It's true. LA needs to get rid of the homeless and y'all need to clean y'all streets. Hey, you know what? And that's, and that's cold is that, you know what, what do we do with the homeless? How do you get rid of the homeless? How do you feel about the homeless? I think it's scandalous. I think that the homeless, I think the homeless are just a reminder to the middle class to keep working, to keep, to keep leading, to keep being a sheep. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, you want to tell your kids, hey, look at these homeless people. You know, you keep, you, you better do good in school and get a good job so you don't end up homeless like these fools, right? They want you to tell your kids that shit, bro. When in reality, bro, we could afford to, 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 Offer uh, rehabilitation programs, you know, uh, right? Drug, drug therapy, housing, all that shit. We don't like those. We we could afford to to do all that and not have Skid Row, Skid Row in downtown LA, even all over the country. You know what I mean? It's it's crazy, bro. You don't you just you go to Florida, right? For example, and you know what the scandalous thing about Florida is is that you don't see too many. It's it's not like LA, right? But they made it illegal to feed the homeless. 
That's crazy. They made it illegal to feed the homeless. So you got this old man that go and he's like, I don't know if he's alive, man. If he's if he's alive, man, shout out to him. Um this old ass man would go out and feed the homeless and they would lock him up. They would take him to jail every time he would do it, bro. And he'd put out trays of food for the homeless people just to feed them, bro. Because they think, dog, if you don't, don't feed them, the problem goes away. And I don't think that's the problem at all. I think the problem is, is they want them there to keep us scared, you know? So we, so yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> you know what's funny, fool? So I was down in Oceanside the other day, and I went to go shoot some content, do some things for work, right? And there's a homeless lady that walks up to me. Says it's your fault. No, nah, she's chilling, whatever, hanging out next to me, whatever, me and the homies. And Oceanside's bougie, right? I'm right there on the beach. It's in their little coffee shop. And I'm like, you, you want some food? You want a drink? I got you. So I go into this little coffee shop and I get her a sandwich, right? $18 sandwich. Bougie. It's like an expensive ass little coffee shop. Get her a, a drink. A $12 drink, right? I wait there for 15 minutes. I go and grab it. Walk outside and hand it to her. Turns around and looks at the trash can and just dumps it in <laughs> No shit. I was like, damn, it's like that. Right. Um, maybe she was fasting. It's the last time I tried to be nice. Right? Hell yeah. So like the dollar amount of everything kind of increased the niceness of it in your mind. Yeah. It's not good, friend. Why? Because you should never put a dollar amount on help. The dollar. Wait, what do you mean? Oh, I thought you meant the nice. Wait, I thought you meant the, the restaurant fool. Like the dollar amount of the food that I bought increased the niceness of the restaurant. Who's the real bougie one here? <gasps> nah, I was trying to be helpful, but I don't know. It was foul. I was like, damn, it's like that. I said a dollar, bitch. That's it. She just wanted a dollar, G. She, just nah, she, didn't, she didn't even say anything, fool. She was just standing there looking hungry as hell. Oh, so you fed her. Did she tell you she was hungry? Uh, she was. She wouldn't say a word. She was pointing out my food. Right. Maybe she was trying to tell you that it was trash. Maybe she was. Or she was like, I seen fucking roaches in the kitchen. Or she didn't know, couldn't talk. She was just trying to tell you not to eat it. And then you went and bought her some of said food. She was just trying to warn you, G. Are you trying to talk shit about me buying food? No, for, bro. For I'm a homeless just, person? I'm just saying, bro. I'm just saying, G. Maybe there was a reason behind her throwing it away. So I'm talking shit about you judging the homeless person. So if you walked into somewhere and bought a homeless person food and they turned around in your face and threw it away in the trash can, that would, you wouldn't be like, damn. I don't buy homeless people food. I give them money, hoping that it's for drugs. Hoping that it's for drugs. No, I'm just kidding. I would feel I would feel disrespected. You did the right thing. You did the right thing. You know? So I, shut the fuck up. I, uh, I just busted your balls, bro. I got to bust your balls for Icon 2. He's not here. Um... I definitely, because I do this a lot. I give away a lot of shoes and clothes downtown just on the regular, you know. We don't film the shit because that's not what you do. You know what I'm saying? That's, you know. And so uh, I I give away a lot of shoes. I don't, you know, I got, I used to collect shoes like crazy, Air, Air Maxes, you know. And so I don't really wear them a lot. So sometimes periodically I go to my storage while I'm looking for other shit. You know, I'll grab some shoes and shit, and I'm in downtown LA a lot, so I'll give them away. And um, a lot of times I run into homeless people that do not want them. That almost look like, you know, I yeah. ran into people, I've ran into homeless that, uh, uh, that, that kind of were just like scared almost, like I'm just trying to give them some $18 poisonous food. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I've, I've ran into some that, just don't want to take charity they're you know just the pride is heavy you know what i'm saying and i've ran into some people that just accept it like nothing yeah, you know yeah. what i'm saying so you never know what their mind state is like and a lot of the times you know the homeless they're not in their right mind too you know nah, what I'm saying? I mean, a large reason why so i you know, agree fool, you did but... the right thing dog you know what i'm saying you can't expect them you know because you can't smoke a shoe. You see what I'm saying? See how I, it is? I understand. For I've gone and given out. When it was freezing outside in Riverside, like two winters ago, I went and gave out blankets with chips and drinks and yada, yada, yeah. yada. Like, no, no, I'm, no, I'm, I'm just busting your balls. You, you know? wish. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get in there nice and deep like. What else, what other news we got, big dog? King Ryan. Ryan now predicts a major earthquake will strike on June 6th. Ryan says to keep through chop for an earthquake on June 6th. Gee. How do you think how do you feel about Ryan Ryan predicting earthquakes now? I think that's a uh, a little out of pocket, but what I will say is I believe a lot of the things that he's saying. Like what things? Just some of his tweets. Because we know elaborate. in reality. Elaborate for me. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. You know for a fact what I'm saying and what he's saying. You know, fool, you're in the industry. You've heard it. You've seen it. Don't sit here and lie for the camera. Um, I have no clue what you're talking about, bro. For uh, sure. You're saying that you believe that, you know, what are you talking about? Like when he said he was in the forest? Mm-hmm. Being tied up, forced to watch certain uh, obscene acts. You believe that happened? Holy smokes! Respectfully, if that is if that is happening, that is wild. And you know what's Super crazy? Super wild. You know dog. what's crazy? That's not the first person I've heard say that, and the other person that I heard say that wasn't airing it out like this. But very similar story and is also in the industry and is like top tier. And you always starting to sound like celebrity. Orlando. Who, him? I was, I could see that. Yeah. You can see how I it's see kind for of sure. like he's, you know, I don't know, man. But see, would you say that Orlando kind of drugs played a big part in why he's like that? For sure. And it might be the same way with Ryan, but it also. <laughs> Gives them the balls to start talking. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? I, I fully I understand. That. Damn. See, but a lot of people fool a lot. Man, a lot of people who are not in the industry mm. have no idea and think a lot of shit is bullshit. Right, right, right. When it's very real. Um, there's some crazy stuff that happens. <laughs> I've, you know, I've definitely I have not been to a Diddy party. I don't know what happens. I've heard some crazy stories. Um, I've seen interviews where just the talk, just the mere mention of the Illuminati and cats will stop the interview and not even proceed with it. It's real. You know? And I grew up crazy thinking all chain. that stuff was stupid and lame and it's not real. And it's just like a big theory to people, whatever, conspiracy theory. Then I got to where I'm at, and I've really? met a lot of people. And you've heard stories. And I've heard a lot of stories. So do you think that it's possible to flourish in mainstream without being a part of that agenda? There's definitely some gatekeeping that will occur. Just like Ice Cube said, he was just talking about this, the club. The club gatekeeps. If you're not a part of the club, they gatekeep. And it's very, very few who make it without joining the club. Damn. We interviewed a cat that socked out Ice Cube. Yeah. And it almost seems like he was gate, gate, gate kept against. All right. Damn. Shout out to Hutch for fucking. The street philosopher. Out ice, industry ice cube. handlers make them take those drugs and do rituals. Don't get it fucked up, dog. The industry's crazy. The industry's and the more that we you. get into it. <laughs> hey, the industry's going to handle you, bro. Nah. Hey. Nah, what if what they came and told you, hey. Like, they gave you the key to the TikTok world. Like, you're on. That's it. That's it, bro. Everything. Respectfully, Whatever you want. Respectfully, what I'm doing right now and how much I'm making. Right, right, right. I'd be I'd be, be, I'd be okay, okay without the rest of my life. How do you know that they don't already have a hand in it right now because they see potential in you? They're just waiting on they the They might. I'll go back to a fucking nine to five before I do anything with what? those fools. For real? Respectfully. For real? Respectfully. I'm taking that fucking ride, G. That's fine. Call me, Illuminati. I'm not down to get strapped to a chi and watch some shit like that. That's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying, though. Like, that's a whole different ball game because it's not just like, like can we do something a little different can we change it up 
know what I'm saying? Like, can you strap me to a tree, tree and let me watch like, like grown women KY jelly wrestle? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm down with that. See, but that's not gonna happen. No. Like, I'm huh? telling you, fool. Like, huh? <sighs> whatever. It's all real, and the people that say that it's not have no fucking idea. Um. I definitely... And we don't have to say too much. You know, I've you definitely know. seen some shit, and I've fucking met an old lady that looked young and blamed it on a machine that was connected to the water. I don't Come know. On, fool. I don't know. You know what I mean? I don't know. But, Ryan, I think, my G, you need some TLC, and I don't mean the girl band. I mean, you need somebody behind you who gives a fuck enough to make sure that they're not giving you the clean piss for your drug test. And just, you know, like, he needs people that give a fuck about him, G. You know, nobody cares about him enough to keep him right. You know? Ryan, my heart's out to you, bud. And you better not fucking... You better not lose, homie. You better not lose. I'm not even going to... I'm not even going to oblige that toe-sucking madness. Why not, fool? Let's recreate the That's video. That's not fucking news. You don't want to recreate it? Ponle. I don't want to see those critters, big dog. Hey, fool. I'm not even going to get into that with you, dog. Hey, all right. Uh, Let's see here. Nose, 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 nose. Hmm. Where are we at? What you want to cover? This one or this one? This one or this one? Either one. All right. Click on one. All right. Carlos Orellana says he paved the way for all cholos who are trying to do comedy right now. Is he reaching? Or is he uh, reaching? G? Respectfully, he's definitely one of like the very few who started on the internet. Maybe. Okay. The internet, but there's a lot of fools that were acting before him. And I get what he's trying to say with the whole face tats and he was the first one to really start the comedy and then a lot of other fools wanted to do it. Maybe, maybe some fool saw him first and then was like, oh, you know what? I could do this, but I don't think he's the originator. I don't think he's. Right. Like, what about Lil Monko? <laughs> Shut up, Lil Monko. <laughs> right? Yeah. I, I mean, I there's mean, other fools, dog. You know, Lil Monko did his thing. How you feel you know about I'm USA saying? banning TikTok? Or it's not going to happen. And if it does, respectfully, I've built enough of a platform just on Instagram. And I have my own get down where you know if i start posting on a different platform it'll take off and it's proved time and time again because i've done it on multiple different platforms right not to mention i have a lot of other stuff going on right i, I well I, I heard you talk about snapchat snapchat you know? big and, bag, you, yeah. and you've been like pushing for people to like hey take advantage of snapchat right now Facts. because they're paying you know what i mean is that a platform that you've been kind of digging into i haven't lately? touched snapchat but i have a lot of friends that are doing snapchat full time oh and they have huge homes in the high desert with multiple cars only off Snapchat. Why are you? All right, well, why haven't I touched Snapchat? Right. Uh, I don't know. I haven't really learned the game mm. about Snapchat, so I don't want to just like dive into it and flop at first. So I got to learn the game first, and then just get it cracking off the jump. But so no, Carlos. So do you know who that fool is? Do I know who he is? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. You think he's funny? Um, no. I respect it. No, I respect I, it. I don't think he's funny. Um, like, I've, I've seen a couple things by him that I thought were like, okay, just mildly comical, you know? But nah, he's not funny to me at all. So, I don't think, I, I mean, like, I, like you said, I don't doubt that he's uh, influenced some cats, <laughs> for sure, you know? A shout out and, you know, flowers to him for that. But um, I don't think he paved the way for all the cholos. Nah, no, hell no. Nah. There's think no way. That's what it is, you know. And then, and then, oh, oh, oh boy, uh, Creeper, he's been doing cholo skits since Mad TV. G, crazy. You know what I'm saying? That's fucking. It's legendary. Legendary. I mean, shout out to him. Like, he did his thing for sure. But I don't see him post anymore. 
Is high desert living worth it? I lived in Hesperia when I was 13. It definitely uh, wasn't worth it when you were living there, G. Not only that, but Hesperia is definitely not the area that you want to live in if you're living in the high desert. Yeah, Victor Valley is kind of... It's cool. You know? Yeah. yeah. yeah there's there's nice parts. Like, like Apple Valley is cool. Apple Valley is beautiful. You know what I'm saying? Sure, Apple yeah. Valley is cool. And then there's some like suburb, like rural little sub sub cities in there that are dope. That are dope. They're like Phillips Ranch of Pomona type It'll shit. It'll make you feel oh. not so in the boonies, for I sure. I feel that. I feel that. I've been to some crazy spots in the desert, G, where cats, you know, if you got money, if you got bread, you could you could get, you could have a good living in the desert, G. Nah, that's a fact. So, you know I, mean? I mean, the high desert is cool. If you're looking for, I mean, nowadays, it's really not that much cheaper. It's, you know, cheaper than L.A., but, I mean, if you want to go city and live in the IE, you can go to Riverside. It's not that much cheaper in reality, but um, it is in the fact that you could get more land. I'll you, give you that you for sure. Get, yeah, you yeah, get yeah. A bigger plot of land along with the house that you're buying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, than you would around here. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. like it's like funny. in the Inland Empire, L.A. County, or you know. Yeah. Nah, it, yeah. It, it's crazy. It's crazy. But like right now, Hesperia. Yeah, no. I'd st- I still wouldn't move to Hesperia. I would not move to Hesperia. You that know? is like real dirt. That's, just, that's literally just dirt, like <laughs> dirt roads, nothing but cact, like for it's real, just dirt, tumbleweeds, yeah, tumbleweeds, <laughs> like wild packs of dogs. <laughs> I, I, ain't, I, ain't even, I ain't even lying, dog. I went to some dude's crib in Hesperia, and I went, and it was like his driveway was like fucking a mile and a half long, dog. Yeah, just his driveway, g. And then like while I'm driving, these packs of dogs are following my car, dog. So I'm like. I'm like, yo, is this for real? You Red know, and I call dude, and I'm like, hey, dog. <laughs> I'm like, hey, dog. There's these fucking dogs for these like wolves or coyotes or like what are they? Are they a mix, mix of them? You know, they're walking you in. Oh, they're all different dogs. He's like, oh yeah, they're cool. Don't trip. Like, I'm not getting out of the car, big dog. They're cool. Don't trip. Nah, G. <laughs> You're gonna have to fucking come get me out of my car, homie. Facts. Now, nah, but Victorville is definitely making its uh its its way. There's a lot more stuff to do out there right now. Um, Adelanto's trying to do their thing. Adelanto's cool, yeah. Adelanto's trying to do their thing. It be in the sticks, bro. But they're starting to build shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And they're offering uh like they push that cannabis growth in Adelanto. Do they? Oh, definitely, dog. Definitely. I mean, it's they a good want place, you to grow. business, yeah. They want you to grow well legally. They right. want no, you to no. grow legally over there, you mm-hmm. know? And they they they're funding shit They and got room you know? for it out there. That's the place to do it. Well, they realize they realize how, you know, the the benefits in, you know, the the and the economic stimulation of cannabis, legal cannabis, dog, you know what I mean? Cannabis could blow a city up, gee. You know what I mean? With the true. money cannabis makes, dog, you could you, just That's on the true. back of that. You know what I mean? So, Carlos, get into cannabis, my G. (laughs) (laughs) Nah, G. (laughs) Nah, G. All right. Wait, 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 wait. We already... Didn't we cover this? I don't know. I don't remember doing this. Chile immigrants brag about not working and living off of U.S. taxpayer. Oh, he sings a corrido about, okay, we covered that. We covered that. So, I, I ain't with that shit. I ain't with that shit. He's, so, he's That's basically, different. he's basically, yeah, he's basically, he's basically talking about, like, um, this makes the Mexicans that come over here and work their ass off for a better life look fucking terrible. It makes people the way that they are that say, deport, 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 build the wall, build the wall, build the wall. That's the type of shit that makes them want to feel like that. When in reality, a lot of Mexicans that come over here, a lot of the Mexican immigrants that come over here work harder than anybody that fucking was born here. Facts. And that's a fact. I see no uh, no errors in your statement, my boy. So, yeah, fuck that fool. That Mexican OT on Lefty Gunplay, quote unquote, I don't got to do a song with that motherfucker. Lefty responds, I don't got to make a song with you either. Did you see the clips? I saw the clip. I don't think either of them were being disrespectful. I think that, yeah, that that definitely uh, says clickbait at its finest. That, yeah. 
This but, was uh, not a disrespectful thing. They were literally getting asked questions. He was like, I don't got to do the song with him, but like Lefty's doing his thing. He was even like, shout out Lefty. Yeah, OT was, you know, he, he explained it. And and you know what? I mean, me personally, I'm the type of I'm the type of person I hate explaining myself. I feel like okay, explain explaining, yourself, G. I, explaining myself. I'm doing it right now, Doc. Right. You're, you fucking lucked out, all right, homie? <laughs> Um, no, I feel like explaining yourself is like a breakdown. You know what I'm saying? So you should only explain yourself to people that you give a fuck about. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I give a fuck about you. I give a fuck about your opinion. So I'm going to explain where I came from with it. If I don't give a fuck about where, what your opinion of me is, what the fuck your explanation? You know what I'm saying? And OT took the time to break it down and explain, you know, well, he's like, man, you know, I feel like, you know, fucking with people on that level kind of reminds me of when I used to use, you know, and when I was, and when I felt that way, when I was that type of person. So I stay from around it. And when he got pat, and when it, when he said that I don't got to fuck with homie, he sounded like he was getting passionate to somebody else, kind of pushing an agenda on him. Exactly. That he didn't want, exactly. you know what I'm saying? That, and, and that person didn't respect that. So he was just kind of, well, I don't need to do a song with motherfucker mm -hmm. because that's how I feel about it. You know what I'm saying? And so, you know, and then lefty, you know what I'm saying? And let uh, watching lefty's response to it. Right. Uh, is one of the one of the one of the times that I've seen Lefty more grounded. Facts, and you know what? Lefty has had a lot of shit said about him by multiple different people, and right. never once has he taken that road to like get clout off of being the active, going crazy. Right, right, right. He's chilling. He's like, whatever. Shout out to that fool. But it is what it is, you know. Like, you know. So yeah. So watching him, like watching him be like, you know, watching him be more calm. Watching yeah. him be more calm and address that and just, you know, hey, all right, well, I don't need to do a song with you either, G. You know what I'm saying? Cool. So then that shows me that I don't think he he saw the disres any disrespect in it as well. He saw it for what it was. You know what I'm saying? And and that's it. You know, so hopefully, hopefully both of them could come together, you know, and reach a point in their lives where they're comfortable fucking with each other, G. Because. Okay. All the people that were going back to the old post that we just went over are saying he's not Mexican. That's not what I was saying. You guys completely missed the he's fucking Chile point. He's Chilean. We know that. We know that. I understand that. that. But he's talking about generally, generally speaking, immigrants, hard in migrants. General. Yeah. Right. That was the whole point of it. Was like people look at migrants as people that come over here and just you know live off of U.S. taxpayers. When in reality, the Mexican migrants that come over here work their fucking ass off for a better a better life for not only them but for their family yeah. for their children for their wives for their mothers things of that nature and that fool's over here like fucking spitting in their face about it like oh yeah i'm over here just chilling i don't give a fuck if he's mexican or not but the facts are the facts listen homie we're not speaking of we're speaking about the human race humans you know what i'm saying so when you when we speak on it it's not going to be mexican this chilean that we're people so if he's speaking on migrants he's speaking on migrants as a whole because they all share the same goal right it's to to get a better life to come over here get some opportunity facts you know what i'm saying big facts <laughs> ot more square than a box of apple jacks I don't know what in what sense you mean that, Cal, but I'm going to tell you this. When I hosted that show for OT, he was probably the most genuine large-scale rapper that I've ever met. Um, You know what? Facts. Um, fucking, I met OT at the, at a, a Fool's Gone Wild Cookies mm -hmm. collab right there on Melrose, and um, I, sh I shot him some bud. And fool just gave me a drop. Like he didn't know, you know, me from fucking from Paul. You know what I'm saying? And he was like, gave me a drop, boom, boom, boom. Hooked it up. You know what I'm saying? Shook my hand. Remembered my name on the way out. You know what I'm saying? Shook my hand again, boom, yeah. boom, boom, on the way out. Mm -hmm. And was was just a genuine dude. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Not a lot of the cats are like that. What really you know what did I mean? it for me was at that show, he did a meet and greet before the show started. And the show was supposed to start at, let's say, 7 o'clock, right? He made sure that every person in that meet and greet, it wasn't like, oh, yeah, come through, I sign a poster, let's take a picture. It was like he sat there and talked to him. And he let that meet and greet run until over the show and even let people that weren't didn't have meet and greet passes come in just to say, what's up, hang out, That's right. chill with them. And he puts on a fucking show. He's a good dude, for sure.
I never got no bad vibes from OT. So anytime I ran into him after the fact, he's always been solid, you know? Lefty as well. Yeah, no, it's facts. Lefty's a really good dude, too. Shout out to Lefty. So, yeah, shout out to Lefty. Lefty's cool, man. I think it's crazy now that, you know, uh, Peso's out. You know what I mean? I'm going to start to see what's cracking, you know? I saw Lefty and Peso on the FaceTime talking about, Lefty's talking about, let's let's drop a record, see who does the, the most views mm-hmm. and shit. You know what I mean? Who do you think would would do the most views if they dropped a, a video the same day? Uh, Respectfully, probably Peso. <laughs> There's so much hype built around him. Speaking of him, there's so much hype, you know, around him right now. And I completely understand. Peso co-signs Ace of Hearts. Shout out to Peso. Shout out to Peso. There's some cold pants. I'm not going to lie. I like those. Oh, uh, oh CNG, yeah. be on the lookout. CNGZ? Um... He's going to high schools right now after school, popping out in his little sprinter van. Next week when he gets off tour, Riverside be ready because we're outside. Is it like a sm- smaller sprinter van than normal? In his little van, whatever you want to call that. A little tour van, whatever you want to call it. Like I think that's a tour van. Oh, okay. Which is so like his close home. little. I just didn't know how big it was. Was it like a transit van? Was it like smaller than normal? You're smaller than normal, big dog. Not an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so they're giving out um, that full crook told me I look like that fool. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Don't say I, I do. I see a little resemblance. It's crazy. I see a resemblance. You know, is it because he looks a little white, or you look a little Mexican? I want to look whatever you want me to look like big dog as long as i'm handsome to you i dress you up like never mind dress me up like what go ahead please that's nice big dog dress you up like kim k <laughs> that's crazy i'm gonna put you on the blade damn chill church my bad my bad my bad so they're giving away uh shirts and shit it's like a high school tour seeing jeezy frosty yeah frosty they just there was frosty yeah, yeah, there? yeah 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 all right, Shout they be pulling up, showing love, man, connecting with the uh, with his supporters and stuff. That's so, right. That's can't right. Can't go wrong with this type of stuff, you know. No, I feel it. I feel it. I look forward to them like throwing backpacks at the crowd. All right. Oh yeah. What's news, man? Low vent with a bunch of stacks. It's not news. Yesterday, he looks good. He looks good. He looks, good. He looks ready. I, I'm telling you. Look, he doesn't sound good. The fans are really concerned. In terms of, well, I mean, look, I, 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 I've been in touch with with Ryan Garcia. I, I, I spoke to him yesterday. He looks good. He looks good. He looks ready. I, I'm telling you. Look, he doesn't sound good. The fans are really concerned. In terms well, of, I mean, look, I, I. I have been in t- What's your take on that? What's your take on that, man? Uh, Talk to me. I just I can't get past this fool right here. His smile is just too much. I was too mean? fucking happy. Too happy? Like how? Like I do don't know. Fool, happy, like G? I can't read him. You know, like. <laughs> It just looks so for <laughs> Yeah, fool. It's just too much. Like it looks like he's forcing it. A little scary ass. Does it look fool. like a yeah. coke smile? Yeah. I didn't see his jaw moving that much though. You know what I mean? That's but you man. never know. That's the man right there. The legend. <laughs> Oscar Del Scante. <laughs> Oscar de la Pipa. <laughs> hey. Oh man. 
Hey. No, nah, shout out to him though, but I don't know. I don't think Ryan's mentally prepared to like hop in the ring right now, big dog. I don't know, bro. Why do I see in my mind just him and him and De La Hoya on a bender just killing it for a week straight? You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. And then Ryan, Ryan's coming back with these stories like, damn, <laughs> damn. Like that's what a party with he's De La Hoya like, he's ready. is like I in did a week. You know what I'm saying? He's I got like, him ready hey, for you, you guys. Want you want to be on, little Ryan? All right, homie. You really want to be king? Come with me and party with the party with the king himself. Can you imagine being at a party with Oscar and Compa Raider? Lit. Gee. Uh, holy shit. That's where you start getting tied to trees, big dog. Tied to feet. <laughs> I got tied to a foot and had to watch fucking... Don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh dog oh dog I don't even know what happened we'd end up in plug talk <laughs> wow yeah. how you feel about plug talk if you got hit up to go on plug talk would you do it I mean what role am I playing <laughs> you know what I'm saying am I am I tapping Lena mm-hmm. definitely yeah yeah me and Adam may make that agreement like Icon and Adam you know what I mean? So whatever. Let's do it. You'd record it and get it posted everywhere? I'd definitely be in trouble with one or more of my baby mamas. Would you take a honey pack before? Would I take a honey pack? No. Why? Because I feel like I'd get super nervous with the honey pack. Really? Like you get anxious? I'd, I'd I'd be more like a mind. It'd be like a mind trip. Like, you're supposed is it to gonna be work hard. <laughs> like, is it gonna work or not? Or is it gonna jack me up or what? What's going on? You know, I just want to be fully myself. You know what I'm saying? Do you think you would knock those down? Do I? Do I think? Like, what what do you think your performance would be like? It's, I mean, to me or to her? <laughs> <laughs> Because I don't know, dog. You know what I'm saying? I know I definitely go ham. I know I definitely go crazy. But I mean, dude, look at the dude. She's, you know what I'm saying? I mean, Jason Love. I mean, not us, right? You know what I mean? I'm not in this conversation. I mean, fuck, you can never be in that conversation. I don't think I'm in the Jason Love conversation. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know, you know? But I'm definitely going to go for the gusto, G. <laughs> What else do you, can I do? You, you don't think you would satisfy her? Definitely. You think you would? Fuck yeah. Are you going down on it? No. Cap. I don't know if I want to say what I'm going to say. Go ahead. Say what you, you know got what to say. I'm not going down on it, bro. But I, I might I might eat the groceries. Would you feel uncomfortable making eye contact with Adam? I mean, while we're doing it, <laughs> during the whole thing, that'd be just like looking of, up and seeing Adam 22 right there. That'd be super wild. You know, that'd be super wild. I mean, like having sex with any woman and looking up and fucking seeing a, a grown ass dude right there. You know what I'm saying? And then depending on what he's telling you, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, am I looking up and he's just like, you know? Am I looking up and he's like, what if he wanted to fist bump you in the middle? Would you do it? Um, you know what? I've definitely been in similar situations and, you know, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, man. Well, there you go. Choo choo. You know, there you go. Tried to get the little, you know. Interview out the way. We're not fucking posting this live, dog. So <laughs> yes, we are, fool. <laughs> We're not posting this fucking live. Out of my face. <laughs> talking about that and then seeing that fucking Oscar De La Hoya smile, homie. Yeah. That ain't it, G. That ain't it, G. No more news. No more news. We can't cover Icon getting socked. Why not? Where is it? It's up there. <laughs> you passed it. Keep going. Keep it going. Keep it going right there to the right. There it is. Boom. Right here with the champ, Arnold Barbosa Jr. Let's get straight oh, into it. Gone in 60 oh, this is his gone in 60 seconds. Yeah. Where's it at? 
They got taken down? Nah, it, it, it can't. It can't. It, they couldn't have. Damn. I think it's on. Is that uh, fucking skinny me? I th- that does not look like you, fool. That looked like me if I was like skinny. It's like the the nah. Now you don't. <laughs> you don't see it? No. Nah. Whatever, G. So that's it. That can't be the news. That's it, big dog. That can't be the news, G. That's it. We got to cover something else. Why don't we sit here and chop it up with the viewers? Nightlife experts warn we're losing one club every two days at the moment. And if we stay on this trajectory, trajectory, we will have none left by 2030. God damn. Clubbing in 2030 is crazy. Hey, no cap, fool. Y'all be charging. I mean, I don't even drink, fool. But like when I be. Okay, so. I get. You said y'all be charging. No, no, no. Not. I mean, clubs. I get booked to go to clubs and just be in the club to like bring people in, promote it. Right. But they're always like, yeah, you, you know, we'll give you uh, unlimited free bottles. Mm-hmm. You have your own section. Right. But I don't drink, but I do check the pricing. Right. It'd be like 500 a bottle. Who is paying that? <laughs> they do pay that, though. That's crazy. Isn't, isn't that what's nuts? Who is that? Fools are really paying that shit. And you know what? I've been that fool before. I've been that fool. I've been that idiot, dog. You know what I'm saying? Being a young rapper and shit, and we're going in clubs and just, you know, I think it's more of a flex, you know, that you can spend it on nothing, right? It's like throwing money at a stripper, right? It's like throwing money. I know you don't do either one, right, Jay? Right? That's what he says. But, I mean, it's one and the same, right? You got cats, you got cats like, uh, uh, on All Star Weekend, the strip clubs go crazy, right? You got fools just throwing mad bread at strippers for nothing, right? Just to flex to other fools that are throwing their money at strippers that you have more money to throw at said stripper than they do. Man, I'll go hit a bottle room before I pay $500 for a bottle and I don't even drink. No cap. Right. So <laughs> I swear to God. Well, then you can't relate. I can't. I get have it for you, free. Have you ever? I get paid to be in the club, and I get it free. Right, right, right. But so on I your way relate. up. But that's different. You're not. T- we're not talking about the guys that are already getting paid to be there. We're talking about the guys who are on their way up, right? That are going through. It's like courtship. It's like you're courting a bitch, dude. You know what I'm saying? And there's these certain things that you got to do. You know, certain things that you got to do on your way up, you know, while you're taking the chick on a date, you got to buy her flowers, you got to do all that shit. And when you're coming up as a rapper or something like that, or as a trapper, you know what I'm saying? There's little things that you do, you know, you're flexing. It's just all flexing. And that's all it is. It's for nothing. Yeah, it's stupid. It's stupid. But it's back. Fuck. Back to the point. What was your fucking point, dog? <laughs> Damn. Nightclubs. I mean, Mister, I get them for free. People are Stay saying away. people are saying. Bring back house parties. How do you feel about that? Rather than going to the club. Bring back house parties? Fuck no. That's like saying bring back murder. <laughs> what about you know like, like saying like, yeah, all, yeah, yeah, you know, let's bring back fucking we're all bring adults, back smoking dudes. We're all, we're all adults now. So like, what if we leave all the BS at home? Like actually no more putting it on flyers, like leave the BS at home. How many of the, okay, look it. Now, how many of these fucking drunk idiots that are adults still starting shit in the club? You know what I'm saying? And they don't get away with half the shit they can get away with because it's in a semi-controlled environment. Those are the fools that we don't invite to our house parties. You know pff. Yeah, but those are the, like, think about it. Think about it. all the fools that fucking know that they could get rowdy at a house party. You know what I'm saying? They're going to take it to the full extent. And plus, fuck, fuck that. Fuck that. No house parties. So we ain't never partying again. Nightclubs well, are gone. I mean, dog. I mean, night. <sighs> Nightclub's been kind of, yeah, it's kind of been a thing. I mean, there's always going to be the more popping ones that have a little bit more backing that can get better performers, better DJs. You know what I like? Music. You know what I like now? Me? You know what I like now? Yeah, besides besides you, you know what I'm saying? You little white chocolate. Um, day clubs. I like day clubs, man. I like day clubs. You're out there, you know what I'm saying? Maybe there's a pool party popping or something oh, okay, like yeah, that. Yeah, I respect that. You know what I'm saying? And you're out, you know, uh, you know, that you're drinking during the day and you know, it's more of a networking more of a networking type of vibe, you know what I'm saying? Like I like that, you know. Rather than just being out all night, you know what I'm I saying? Drinking and yeah. shit like that, you know. I I like to 
more of a vibe yeah. rather than like a wallflower and a flex flex all yeah 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 yeah, they, yeah, you know, yeah. see that but flexing is crazy that shit's fucking a hey, full flexing is a curse g and it's a crazy addiction that fools that are coming up have dog fools just want to flex you know it's just that thing you you know what i mean you want to show the motherfucker next to him that he ain't got what you got you know what i'm saying and it's it's a it's a plague g i, I don't know what would fix that what would stop that I don't think there is a fix. It's just human nature. It's human nature for sure. It's human nature to be the baddest motherfucker. Well, hold up. People be stealing from houses here. <laughs> but yeah, here in Houston, they be throwing parties at Airbnbs, but there be, there been people shot and killed. They sue the owners. A hey, fool. That, you know what I mean? I, that to me, house party code is synonymous with violence. You know, and coming up as a kid, you know what I mean? Like, I have really bad, like, trauma from being a house party, so I understand. I that's what it. I'm talking about. So as a kid, like, right, in in Whittier, the, the, the dopest house parties were in Puente. You know what okay. I mean? And went, they, but they were always known. It was always known that, yo, like, yo, this bitch might get shot up. You know what I mean? Like, fools are going to get into it. Somebody might get stabbed. I've seen fools get their fucking dome busted with baseball bats. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. like, house parties are just synonymous with violence to me. You know what I mean? Fuck that. What's up with that? I don't even know what that is. That guy stabbed to death. Uh, Yeah, Adrian. Uh, oh, that ba kid. Baby rest, Guapo. Rest in peace to the kid my daughter showed showed me the video, bro. Yep. I don't even know how. It's like, dude, it's videos going around. Oh, kid. And, the, and, and and this is what I and this is what I tell my daughter. You know, she's 16. You know what I mean? And, she, I, you know, she wants to go out and all these places. She wonders. It's not know, worth it. Well, no, it's, it's it's almost like, hey, you know. You don't want me to do nothing. But then videos like that come out, you know, and you start to see, you know what I mean? Like what these, what happens, bro, you know, and people take this shit lightly. You want, you know, homie, homie seemed to me like, a, like I saw his videos and shit. And I took a look at, you know, the videos he would make and post and stuff. And homeboy seemed to me like he was one of those cooler kids. You know what I'm saying? Um, kids followed him and they liked to be like him. You know what I'm saying? He had a little presence. You know, he wasn't just like one of those nobody ass kids. You so know he's what I'm from Riverside. Himself. Okay, there you go. I put him in one of my videos and we had tapped in. He was like, yo, you put me in one of your videos, bro. Thank you so much. Yada, yada, yada. He was a sweet kid, right? But apparently, allegedly, this is what happened was um, he had just said some things about somebody's right. disabled brother. Uh-huh. Uh -huh, I heard that. Um, And they didn't like that, which I respect, but full catch a fade. Right. So now this is what I'm, now this is the point I was trying to make with that is that when kids feel that they have like like some clout or they have an uh, an influence, they're the first to jump up and want to fight and, and you know what I'm saying and do shit like that and you have to always remember you don't know what the other homie packing. Right. You don't know. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, you know, there's a there's a thin line between bravery and stupidity, G. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I've walked that line my whole life. Right. You know? So it's like, you don't know. Look what look what happened with Draco. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Facts. Just boom. You know he was the only one that got up to squabble. Everybody else ran away. You see what I'm saying? And, and you know, and homie, rest in peace. Little homie who died, bro, lost his life. You know what I mean? He got hit just a couple times, a few times. Yep. You know what I mean? Yep. And, and boom, and he died right there in front of everybody, G. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's the coldest thing for the youngsters to have to watch is their homies. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Is their, is their homies going through it, you know? Yeah. That's what's happening, G. Fucking house party. So fuck your fucking house parties, fucking Jay. I'm I going, didn't say I want to throw a house party. What's wrong with you? I'm going to the club, I was reading G. the comments. They were saying, yeah, bring back house parties. I asked you a question. At Jay's house. I don't want to throw no house party. No, people aren't allowed at my house. We're partying at fucking Jay's house, honey. Unless you guys are family. Like, you can come to my house. I'm on the barbecue. You can come to my house. I Like, my friends can come to my house, but I don't let people just, like, come to I've my never, house. I've never been to Jay's house, though, before, so that invitation. Well, I wanted to look at a new like... home today. <laughs> I want to look at a new home today. For so, real? Yeah, I'm going to meet with my realtor after this. I Damn. Get... What cross streets are you going to be looking on? That's crazy. I just want to make sure you're safe. I know where I'm going. Yeah? Yep. 
and a Nora. I'm at it all times. Yeah, Riva. Yep. Damn. So you don't think that um, if you reach a certain level of success, that it'd be wise for you to move out of Riverside? For sure. You're just not there yet. I don't. A lot of my business is in Riverside, but a lot of it is now becoming in L.A. because L.A. has a lot of business opportunity out here in the industry that I'm in with content creation and entertainment and things of that nature. Um, If I got a job at (sighs) – if I was a host on – Adam 22's platform, I would probably have to move. Um, so if you were a host mm-hmm. on their platform, mm-hmm. is that something that you want to do? Would I be on that platform? I would be on that platform because I saw you on it and you freaking flopped. I didn't flop. I was just chilling. Man, bro, you got a seat and a mic on that piece, homie, and you didn't say shit. Yes, I did. Bro, you were quiet than a mofo, G. What? I was roasting dog, Icon. I, ex- I was roasting Day John. I ex- expected more from you, dog. Bro? Yeah, I did. Fo. I was hoping that you were going to go off. Dang. It's all right, though, young Sprout. I was nervous on No Jumper. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> That's what it was, huh? Yeah. All right. All right. But I talked. I wasn't quiet like that. You know what? Hopefully, I, 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 you know what? That's down the line. I'm not saying it's. I want to say hopefully, yeah. Hopefully we see, you know. Hopefully we see more of, more of Jay on a. But regardless, not just not just no jumper. I don't even want to say that. I say in bigger positions and better positions. Yeah. Because I don't think no jumper is a bigger and better position. I don't think it is either. But I'm just saying because of how far it is. Don't fucking talk about you being on there, Jay. Regardless, um, I mean, like I have uh. Two auditions coming up, one for a reality TV show, one for another movie for Netflix. Oh, for real. Nice, dog. Nice. So that stuff, that's all LA, you know? They're not shooting large scale Netflix shows, move they're not it's not out where I'm at in reality. So I might have to come close move. to home, baby. You know? So We'll figure it out. I knew he wanted to come to LA. But right now, I'm staying on Riverside. And yes, I'm finally, it's going to be my first home. Home. Home, home. House. Well, I don't want to say congratulations yet, but, not, I, know it's not coming, yet. It's but I know it's coming. For sure. You know what I'm saying? So I look forward to fucking popping a bottle with you. Yeah, we'll like definitely do something at the house if we, if we get it. Smashing a bottle on the side of your house or something. Do it on my head or something. Nah, because then you might relapse. <laughs> shut, shut up. Did you into my mouth? I start crying. <laughs> Freak out. Oh shit, bro. Shit. All right, man. Hey, I'm hold up, hold up, hold up. Let's see what the chat is talking about right now, real quick. Still in full community. Still in full community host. Nah, man. Hell no. Nah. Congrats on the new crib search. The chat is fucking with Jay. Yeah. Loud is a hell of a drug. It is, fool. It's fucking wild. You're not lying. He's becoming an L.A. fool soon. For real. He knows L.A. better. Nah, I know my roots. Come on now. Home is with a hard deal, Poppy. Don't trip. You'll be out here. You're going to love it. <laughs> Look at him. Look at him. I, uh, I've been getting a lot of love out here, though, just like being in L.A., having a bunch of people come up to me and ask right. pictures and stuff. Yeah. So, and that's the beautiful thing about social media and, and the platform that you're on, right, is that the demographic is so large. It yeah. It's not restricted to the confines of your county. Right. Right? Mm-hmm. It's everywhere, dog. It's so everywhere. You come to L.A., you go to another state. I was in and, oh, yeah. And they'll see you just as much as somebody from L.A. would yeah. just because the platform is that expansive. Facts. You know what I'm saying? It's facts. So I love about the full community as well. You know what I mean? Facts. Like mad people know the full community. Mm -hmm. you know so you just get love you know what i mean you just get love and i mean like i'm definitely not on the level of you or khan you know what i mean you were the shaka khan but i've definitely gotten some love out there you know i bet and it's and it's it's only getting more and it's and it's only growing you know what i mean so like that feels good g yeah you know what i mean that feels good you know what feels good is homies telling me that they're proud of what we're doing. They gotta be. You know what I'm saying? You know, as the homies telling me like, hey, 
you guys are like, you guys are doing great and you guys have a voice to the culture right now, you know, and what you guys are doing is amazing. You know what I mean? Like that shit to me is like, because, um, you know, I'm out here trying to be a better person. I'm trying not trying to be old smoke, I you know, understand. and I know you're not trying to be old Jay and I know icons not trying to be old icon, you know? Well, maybe the skinny icon. Maybe you want to be the skinny icon. You know what I'm saying? For sure. But we're all trying to be better people up in here. You know what I mean? So I think I think it's great. You know? So. Oh, yeah. Camera's off. Let's do that. Icon leaving up some technical difficulties. Man. That was a... Uh... God smoke talking. Is LA better? Depends on what you're looking for. I personally like the Inland Empire for the reason being that it's home. I don't know that a die die. Hope all y'all get into Icon's DM. Everybody go DM Icon right now and say, "Look, oh, there he is right now. Look, he he knows. He was watching the live. Let's get on the line with Icon. Hey there, buckaroo. Hello? Hey there, buckaroo. Our camera turned off. I believe so. Go inside the camera. <laughs> Dog. You're in bed. Are we back on? You good or what? What do you got to say for the Foolies that you're on live right now? Spence says I'm not there. Glad these fools got it right. Where the fuck is Jay? Jay's in the bathroom eating a honey pack. And Jay's taking a shit? You're all right or what? We're good, Buckaroo. The comment chat. The comment line does not miss you. Respect it. 
you in a couple minutes. And that was wild. You see that? Hey, we almost had a flawless victory right now. We did. Right? We did. Damn. And you know what? That was out of our hands, G. It's it not like we fucked some shit. Nah, up. not at all. We were killing it. We were on a roll. Now my vibes are shot. Ha <laughs> ha! Damn. So we got to end it. <laughs> What's our time at? After all that bullshit? What's our time at? What are we at? Hour 45. An hour 45? Mm-hmm. That's not bad. We usually get about like two hours, right? Yeah. All right. So let's end it with... I'll let you pick it. Which one are we going to end it with? Uh, Compa Raider. Nope. Yup. Yeah. Show me what you got, pussy. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, baby, ace. Hey, so. <laughs> you look, look at that's that. crazy, you, you dog. What was that? Was wild, G, and it was, and her pata was cooking in that sock, G. Show me what you got, pussy. Respectfully, I wouldn't have been talked to that way for the video. She called him a pussy? Yeah. Maybe he's into that, though, you know? Um, Humiliation ritual fact. Little, um, I think if he's going to go through humiliation ritual, it's going to be worse than that, but... You don't like feet? You don't like suck of toes? Oh man, that's crazy. Um, you know what the thing is? Is I am a uh, uh, like I like pretty feet, mm -hmm. right? That's a big thing for me. If I see a girl and her feet are like not taken care of, maintained, I, I can't, I can't talk. I want, I would, I talk to her, but I won't want to do anything. You know what I'm saying? I won't want to pursue anything other than talking to her. You know, um, because that says a lot, right? What if she's like ten out of ten, just bad, and then and her, her feet, feet are. Not like are they taken up? care of, or they're just jacked? Like she got a big ass bunion. No, nah, not like she that. Couldn't afford well, to take off yet. No, nah, not like that. But like, what if she had like ingrown toenail and like uh, overgrown toenails? Uh, and like, nah, May Ling, take care of that for you. And like hairy feet, knuckles. Ooh, knuckle foot, knuckle moose, moose knuckles. <laughs> <laughs> can't stand that fatty that that trend either. Count the camel toe trend. I can't. That shit makes me sick. Why? <laughs> Why? Because it just looks weird. Because to me, to me, a camel toe is like synonymous with a loose chick. You know, like if you saw it, hey. <laughs> Why is God smoke breathing so hard? I think it's because my mic's I can't say my mic's you. right here. <laughs> what did I can't say to you? I don't know. He always says something about how I breathe. I just breathe. Fucking, <laughs> what the fuck? You know what I mean? What do you fools got a breathing problem? <laughs> Hey, you know what the cold part about that is? That wasn't me breathing. That was my homeboy breathing, and my homeboy's like <laughs> six three, four hundred pounds. You know what I'm saying? Like my homeboy's big, and so I would have took the fucking, I would have took the charge on that one. You know what I'm saying? But I didn't. Like that was the legit homie. You know what I'm saying? Like he make my breathing sound crazy. You know what I'm saying? My just sound like he's running after somebody, but he's not. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Oh man, that for icons comedy. You, <laughs> you boys got a <sighs> Yeah, but he was just being a dick because half the time it's him. Comedy. You're just not. You're just mad because I'm not breathing hard for you, Central. Is it just me or did you make the camera all crooked? I think Khan's saying adjust the picture. Nah, it's the camera. You can see it sitting crooked, fool. Now you're knocking stuff over. No, 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 no. Focus. 
Why is the man only? Why is the man the only one in sh shape? Conspiracy. Who? Comparator? I don't know what that means. Zoom camera in. Nah, man. Hey. That's it, bro. <laughs> That's it, bro. We did good. We did good. There's nothing else to cover. Nah, what a what a concert. He just said something. He said something. Adjust the camera or some shit. And my profile pictures the little bit. I said nah, just the picture. He wasn't even talking to us. Get get the fuck out the chat. Nobody's trying to hear you. Ain't here. You ain't here, homie. Homie. And route though. Then fucking drive. Be safe, asshole. Jay, why am I the only one in shape? I'm not. Why is Jay the only one in shape? A hey, full round is a shape. Chill. I used to be buff. I'm on a uh, very, very strict fasting diet as we're speaking, though. I'm eating one meal a day. I'm eating under 500 calories and drinking nothing but water. So basically just a tube steak. I'm eating. Uh, yeah, I mean, somewhere. Some ground turkey, vegetables. That's it. One oh, bowl. That's, that's it. it. And anything like a snack that I want, I'll have one serving of pause nuts, like mixed nuts. Mixed as in like different ethnicities? Yeah. Sweet. Very. Nah, yeah. I'm on a, a strict fast right now, though. He eats those fast. nuts very fast. No cap. <laughs> intermittent fasting? Uh, I mean, yeah, it is intermittent fasting, but I'm also just eating like crazy small portions. I'm only having one meal a day, which is what I usually do. But ever since I left my uh, warehouse job to do this full time, I've gained like 15 pounds. And I just want to lose that 15 real quick. You feel me? In a warehouse, you're definitely active. Yeah, I'm always active, though. But it is what it is. No, like... Like constantly active. No, I'm constantly active right now. No, you're fucking not, G. Yes, I am. So you're fucking turned all the way down, homie. Hop up and see some. I don't need to hop up, dog. I hopped up. You didn't take your chance. Yeah, but I'll take your chains. <laughs> oh, 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 I can only I wish. I can only wish. My wife is on day of fasting. So day one, I don't know. Can't I can't read whatever the heck that said. Got clipped off. Jay from Riv is in pretty cool shape though, man. You know. I need hit, I need to hit the gym, bro. That's my that's my issue. Me and Icon used to be at the gym all the time, bro. Mm -hmm. Every single day, every single day we were at the gym. Life we, gets busy, and dog. We spend hours at that motherfucker. Life gets busy, but yeah, I'm fasting and then running, burpees and sit ups. That's that's my get down right now. Burpees. Mm -hmm. You're doing burpees. Yeah, I'm so sore right now though, dog. Like real talk, I haven't worked out since my un my union job. You were in the union? Yeah, I was a union rep. I was one of the stewards. For real? Yeah, local 63. Teamsters. <laughs> Teamsters? Yep. No shit. Yep. That's right, man. My brother was with Teamsters, man. He used to drive for Stater Brothers. Fire. So what's up, big dog? Are we just chatting with the chat right now? Yeah, we're just hanging out. Are you going to change Jay from Riv to Jay from LA? Nah. Heck no, nah. if I ever do that, just know that I went to one of those meetings. I went to a Diddy party. He's just he's just gonna be Jay from LA. What? Who trade you, Destiny? That's right. We try. All right. Well, you know what? We just did it. I heard I heard I heard I hear icons footsteps. Boom, 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 boom. boom. I see the water shaking. Boom, yeah, he's boom. here. <laughs> nah, hey, I appreciate you guys vibing with just me and Smokes today. I know it was a little bit different. Thanks to everybody that came out, vibed out, chilled. I know it was a little bit more quiet without a uh, big boy in the middle of us, but we appreciate you guys. Shout out to all of our sponsors. Shout out to Shaka. Shout out to Rosenberg. Shout out to uh, shout Honey out Packs. Shout, shout out to, out to Honey. All shout of out that. to Killa Kush. Shout out to Killa Kush. Shout out to Dirt Dog. Shout out to all you fools. Shout out to all you guys, man. Shout out to all the fools. In the chat and outside the chat, man. Hit a like. Subscribe. If you fuck with the show, 
Let Icon know he ain't shit and all y'all need is a <laughs> Facts. Make sure to go grab your tickets to the oldie show for the April Fools event. Oh, Mando, get your tickets. Get your tickets, bro, because it's it's our first oldie show, bro. We're going hey. I'm gonna stage dive there to all the old people in the crowd. So Fuck, bro. That's if you guys want to get a grip, make sure to be front row. Get a grip of what? Huh? Get a grip? What do you mean? Did you say get a grip? Who? Of you? If you want to get a grip of Jay while he stage dives, come through. You know what I mean? Make sure y'all ready to soft rock. What are you talking about? We get a grip of you when you stage dive. I didn't say that. That's what I thought you said. No. If you want to get a grip, be up front. So what what are they going to get up front? Me or him? I don't know. Anyways, we fuck with y'all a long way, man. We appreciate all y'all fucking with the full community, man. On behalf of me, Jay, rich homie Juan, who is also not here, and the big homie Shaka Khan. <laughs>